I'm the genius Asian. Welcome to the genius family. A common problem people have when they're trying to read the oil level from the dipstick is that it's just not clear. One of the causes of this may be that you are using a thin kind of oil. There are various different kinds of oil that are used in cars, and your car manufacturer will have told you which kind of oil you should be adding. But here we have four bottles with different levels of viscosity. Water is zero, and then there's also zero W, five W, 10 W. If you look at oil from the 10 W30, it drips off fairly slowly. And okay, so some of the oil is staying on the dipstick. 5W30 drips off faster. The 0W30 drips off the dipstick very fast. So you don't have anything there to read, except you, there may be some oil left in the circle on the dipstick. And the same with water. Water, of course, is zero viscosity and runs right off the dipstick, except you'll see there may be a little bit sort of caught in that hole on the dipstick. So we've shown you why the oil level can be hard to read on the dipstick and that this is sometimes due to having thinner oil. There are other reasons which we will show in a later video. Next we're going to talk about how to capture the oil and how to use the hole or other similar features in the dipstick both for what it's traditionally been used for which is to indicate the low oil level, but also to find what in fact the oil level is right now in your car. So you can see that the hole in the dipstick is the most important part for determining where the oil level is. Step one, you will just check the oil level in the traditional way. Make sure that you do have oil at least in the lower hole and that you don't have oil in the upper hole. And so then you're going to be just making a rough estimate of where the oil might be in between those two holes. This estimate is your starting point for the next step. Make sure in step one, your distance estimate is generous. For step two, insert the dipstick, but stop short of the distance estimated in step one which you are now measuring from the dipstick handle down. You can use this ridge or other similar markings on your dipstick as a gauge for this distance. Remove the dipstick and check for oil. There should not be any oil in the low hole if your distance estimate in step one was generous enough. Otherwise, you will need to clean oil from the dipstick and try again, raising the dipstick a bit higher until no oil is found in the hole. Then, without wiping to clean the oil, lower the dipstick in a little bit further each time until there is oil in the hole when you pull it out. This can be done quickly because no cleaning is required. This final distance shown on the handle will be the same as the distance from the low hole to the top of the oil. So this is your final distance, which indicates your oil level. When it is hard using a traditional method to read the oil level, my method can clearly show oil in the hole, and it can be as accurate as you want it to be by controlling the amount of the distance that you are raising or lowering the dipstick. It takes less than a minute longer because no extra cleaning is required if your first estimate in step one is generous enough. One existing method is to drill additional holes on the dipstick. The problem with this is you cannot add too many so there is still less precision than with my method. Second, you are creating permanent, irreversible change to this car component. So 
we believe our solution is better. An edge cut or notch in the dipstick can also capture oil, but the notch is not as good at capturing oil because it is an incomplete circle and has less surface tension. So our solution is better. Also, because it is an irreversible change, you may wish to make an experimental notch above the high hole in the dipstick and then use a full bottle of oil to see if the notch catches oil. Only proceed to cutting notches lower down if the top one seemed to work. Our last alternative method is to use a file on the surface of the dipstick. If you roughen the surface, you will capture more oil than a smooth surface will. However, this may not be effective because it is less clear than simply looking at a single hole in the dipstick, such as our solution presented at the beginning. Since some cars have dipsticks which are harder or easier to read compared to others, please leave comments below on your experience with cars or dipsticks of different types so that we can know more about where issues occur. Modifications to the dipstick itself, if you think about it, are not likely to improve on the dipstick developed by the experienced car manufacturers. Moreover, irreversible change to any car part may have unintended consequences. My method, on the other hand, uses the existing holes in the dipstick, but in an innovative way. Sometimes there are causes other than thin oil, which may be making it hard for you to accurately read your dipstick. In that case, your modification may not address these problems. So, check out my next video for other causes and solutions. One of the problems you may have is that you have to park on a slope. What are you going to do in that case? Check out the video here. Another problem you might have is that sometimes the dipstick rubs against the wall of the tube it's held in and thereby creates vertical streaks along the dipstick when you pull it out. What are you going to do then? This side? Sometimes the surfaces of each side of the dipstick are not the same. So that leads to confusion about which side you should be looking at in order to read it accurately. If that is a problem you have, watch this video. Further away, let me before. Have you wondered how the engine being hot or warm or cold uh, may be affecting your reading of the oil level? Check here. See what we have to say about that here. Can you see this more clearly? Yeah, this is fine. And I flip on this side, it looks like this. Share this with people who you know that need it. Leave your own genius tips in the comment section below. Don't forget, I'm the genius Asian. Subscribe for more useful videos.